Hey there. This past weekend, I went to my Aunt Darlene's memorial, and uh, the service and reception were great. All kinds of family and friends there. Uh, during the service, which was beautiful, uh, family members, immediate family members were able to uh, reflect and tell stories about her life. And then afterwards at the reception, there was set up uh, an open mic that if people wanted to get up and tell stories about my Aunt Darlene, they could. But you know, there was so much fellowship going on. We were in tables, eating lots of food, and already we were all telling stories about Aunt Darlene. No one ever really got up and used the mic. It, it wasn't necessary. But if I had gotten up and used the microphone, this is what I would have said. My Aunt Darlene is one of those people who makes you feel like you're her favorite. You know what I mean? And in and, and actuality, both my aunt and uncle have this special gift. And I think I knew at an early age that it wasn't in fact that I was her favorite because I could tell everybody felt that way around them. But I was going to get as much time as possible with her because it felt so good. And inevitably, I told her secrets about my life that I had never told anybody in my entire family. And, and there were times I knew that some of the things I told her, she probably didn't agree with. We probably didn't see eye to eye. And I would even test her. I'd say, hey, Aunt Darlene, what do you think of that? And every time, she would shrug her shoulders and say, you know, who am I to judge? The important thing is that you know I love you no matter what. Oh. And, you know, I know my family loves me. I know they love me without conditions as best as they possibly can. But to hear that from my aunt at that young age, that was revolutionary. And so I now get to have that memory forever. And any of us who knew Aunt Darlene, we get to have that gift of judgmentless love for us forever. So right now, those of you who knew her, just remember that beautiful face, her unconditional loving eyes, and that joyful smile that was often laughing. Thank you, Aunt Darlene, for your love in my life. And thank you for listening.